We already know that more than 90% of people in the world are right-handed. Most people also prefer the right foot. In terms of foot, it's kind of different because 30% of people don't have a preference and they can use both of their feet. But 60% of people prefer the right foot and there is only a 10% chance of a person preferring their left foot. So being left-handed and left-footed is very rare. The interesting part about this is that you can't find any other creature that prefers one hand over the other. Even our closest relative, the chimpanzee, it doesn't prefer the left or right hand or either the left or right foot. It's basically their precision that's the same. So you don't ever see a monkey prefer that. But why is that? Why are humans like this? When archaeologists studied the bones of Homo erectus, they realized that most of these guys were right-handed as well. All they had to do is look at their teeth and the scraping that was slanted towards the right. And that means the person that was scraping something with their teeth accidentally hit their tooth and scratched it in a certain direction, letting you know that they're using their right hand to do this. When archaeologists studied the teeth, they saw these marks on Homo erectus Neanderthals and Homo sapien teeth. When we say right-handed, this doesn't mean that your left hand is useless. We're just saying your right hand has more precision. And without thinking, you use that hand. Like for example, when you hold a pen and pencil, you will automatically choose the hand that you're more comfortable with and the hand that's more precise. You basically don't even have to think about it before you choose. You could say it about using knives you will choose the precise hand over the other. But you have to know, if you teach a child to use the other foot or the other hand, they will learn it and be just as good. It's not like it's something that you can't learn. To realize why humans are like this, we have to go towards their brain. Your brain has two pieces, the left and right side. The right part controls the left side of your body, and the left part controls the right side of your body. The pieces of the brain are not mirrored. So if a section of the left side of your brain does something, it doesn't mean the right side does it for the other side. They do completely different things. Any living thing that has a brain has the same design. They have a right and left side and controls the opposite side of their body. But the human brain is much different than the animal. It's much more complicated and powerful than any animal brain. This story goes back hundreds of thousands of years ago when you're going through evolution and the human is getting smarter and smarter. And when Homo erectus roamed the earth, this was the first time that the human chose a hand they would prefer. Like for example, they would hold the spear with the right hand. When you look at caveman drawings inside caves, you always see their left hand that's on the cave wall and it's painted around it. And most of the time, it's only the left hand. So that means they put their left hand on there and painted it with their dominant hand. You can also see it in their drawing where they're hunting animals and the spear is always in their right hand. The bone structure of Homo sapiens and Neanderthals that have been found, the right arm and right hand is completely stronger than the left usually. And it has been very rare to find left hands that are stronger. All this aside, but we didn't answer one question. Why did humans prefer the right hand? Scientists have been studying this for decades and they were always trying to figure out why the humans prefer the right hand and it's up to a 90%. At first, they thought it's human genetics, so they were constantly studying genetics on how it works. They first realized that most left-handed people are men. Then they realized being right or left-handed is not genetics. If your father is left-handed, that doesn't mean the kids are going to be left-handed as well. After studying the DNA and genetics, they went ahead and started studying the human brain. And they got some volunteers that were left-handed and right-handed. And they basically hooked it up to the machine to see what brain activity is going on when they're doing tasks like writing and drawing with their left and right hand just to see what's going on. With this experiment, scientists got a little bit closer to what they want. They realized that it's all happening inside the brain and why humans prefer the right one. There's a section on the left side of the human brain called the BA44. And long story short, and long story short, this is the part of the brain that controls precision for your hands and feet. 
and since it's located on the left side of your brain, you're most likely going to choose your right hand as your dominant hand. And in terms of Homo erectus, they probably gave the tools to their right hand. Just holding tools in your hand is what made humans differ from any other animal. Since humans didn't hold tools in their hand, precision wasn't important. But for humans, it was very important. And just using a tool with a certain hand causes us to evolve in a way where the right hand or the left hand in very rare instances is the dominant hand and it's much more precise. But what about the left-handed people? Did they evolve differently from right-handed people? Didn't they hold the same spears? Yes, left-handed people evolved the same, but you can't say every brain works the same. Left-handed people have a different process that happens in their head. It's not like saying they're different, but it works different. Scientists have realized that a left-handed person has a much more organized and calm thought process. And usually, that causes them to be a better speaker. Since left-handed people are much more rarer, throughout history they were very valuable. Like for example, when you're sword fighting, a left-handed person is going to be very valuable because they can do tricks that will outsmart the opponent and win the battle. But when religion gets a little too powerful, this is when left-handed people get the bad luck, especially in Europe. They would say being left-handed is the work of the devil, and you have to use your right hand. Throughout history, you would get punished in school if you were left-handed, and you would get punished so bad that it would cause you to change your dominant hand. Even some parents were a fan of this policy, and they were a fan that the teachers are punishing their kids to change their dominant hand to right. Eventually, the child will learn to use the right hand, but their dominant hand is still the left, and in a way you could say they could use both hands. Stuff like this is very common in ancient Europe, because anything that was rare was seen as the devil. They would punish left-handed people, they would kill redheads because they would think they're witches, and also they were not a fan of green-eyed people, and in some instances, they would kill them as well. Later on in sporting, a left-handed person and a left-footed person is very valuable in sports like volleyball, boxing, and of course soccer. It seems like we are born in a good time because stuff like this does not happen in the modern world at least not in most countries. Saying all this, but most stuff is made for right-handed people, like scissors, unless you special order left-handed scissors. Keyboard and mouse is made for right-handed people only, and especially the mouse is very difficult to use when the side buttons are on the other side. School seating is made for right-handed people. I mean, look at the can opener, does it even need explaining? When you're also writing in English and you use your left hand, you're gonna smear it all over it, unless you write another language that writes from right to left. You could say the same thing about cameras, because the shutter is always on the right side. You could also say it about instruments, like a guitar, but saying that you could still order all these instruments for left-handed people. 